This is an early 1970s house. Um, Brick-faced cavity walls, all fairly traditional. Um, because it's got cavity walls though, uh, there'll be an internal skin which is inevitably built of something cheaper, uh, so aggregate block work for example. And uh, I think the block work and the brick are not going to move in exactly the same way. And this has resulted in some cracking to this house, which is not particularly unusual, but if you haven't seen it before, you might think it's a bit strange. So let's go and have a closer look at the cracks, which we'll find at the corners of the building. This is the front right corner of the house. And if we go in nice and close, get down the bottom we can see here. Now you can probably see it but I'm not sure so I'll point to it. Here we have a vertical crack in the wall which stops for a spell and then resumes to about halfway up the wall. Now if we go round the side, down the bottom a little bit of damage to the wall there, but above the damp proof course, there's that crack again. A little, lost my finger there, little space, and then it resumes here and carries on going up the wall. And the question is, what is it and why is it there? Well, the explanation for the crack goes something like this. Um, the brick has expanded, so there's no expansion joint in the wall. And uh, whilst it has expanded, the internal skin, which will be cheap aggregate block work, has not expanded, and possibly it's even contracted. So whilst the external wall is going out and getting longer, the internal wall is tightening up and getting shorter and this is creating a lot of tension in the wall which has eventually resulted in cracking um, and the reason it's cracked there is because the builder included wall ties as obviously he should have done but he's put them in the wall right up close to the corner so whilst one wall is trying to go forward and the other wall inside is trying to go the other direction the wall tie has tied them together and something's got to give. So there is what I've heard described as tension release cracking in the wall, resulting in that vertical fracture there. And in this house you'll find it on all three corners, so on each occasion the uh, brickies brought his wall ties right up to the corner of the wall. And the way to resolve that problem is to not put your wall ties too close to the corners of the walls in the first place. The next question is though, does it matter? And the answer is very probably not. This is a crack which has occurred and it will be used to take up any future expansion and contraction which might occur. So the, uh, the crack will open up and close and it's so tiny that any movement will be marginal but uh, it won't get any worse. Another feature of this sort of movement in theory is that the brick wall above the damp proof course will have projected forwards ever so slightly as it's able to slide along the damp proof course but the movement is so marginal and in this particular instance the bottom of the wall has been clobbered by something so it's all broken up so we can't really see it but uh, theoretically this part of the wall We'll have moved out here just a little bit. This is a picture of a house that was built in the 1950s. So a different era of house but exactly the same problem and exactly the same cracking. Here's a little uh, structural movement problem. Um, a probable problem or a possible problem. The truth is I don't know. 
We've got a 1960s bungalow here which was probably brick and I suggest that because there are all the other ones, they're all brick so it's been rendered to make it look nicer in inverted commas. There is, you can see, adjacent to it, a substantial oak tree and I believe, although I might be wrong, that the drains are running along this drive. Uh, I guess that's because, uh, well, this is where all the kitchen and bathroom business is and the drain cover is under the garage door so I can't lift it. Garage door is locked and the bin door's not here. Um, now the structural movement problem is round about here. Let me go to the wide angle. Can we do a wide angle? Just about. Side elevation rendered in modern times and uh, not a hint of a problem. And this might be because there isn't a problem. However, if we go inside, should I turn this off and just wander through the house with my dirty shoes on? I'd better turn it off. Right. Step inside and this is the partition wall in question. Um, it has been also dry lined in modern times and no hint of a problem there either. And if we wander around the corner to the other side of that partition wall, turn the light on. In that corner, up above the wardrobe, diagonal fractures behind, and I think the engineer Simon Pictures said that if you draw a 45 degree line uh, perpendicular to those fractures it will point to where the problem is. And that would take us straight back out to the wall I filmed in the first place above the potential line of the drains. Um, however the external wall inside and out seems to be completely free of movement. So the question one has as a surveyor being here one morning on one day in January is this old modern is it a problem and I suspect that because this house has quite clearly been refurbished that those cracks must have occurred quite recently. And we are just after a very very dry summer. A little straight line fracture over the door there. Come on, focus your bugger. Eventually we focus. Which has probably got nothing to do with it. So my gut feeling is that this uh, structural movement is not a big deal, but we do have an oak tree over there. We do have drains running very close to where the cracking is located and we do have a bungalow which has been refurbished recently and uh, evidence of other cracking has been covered up I suppose uh, or potentially I mean maybe there wasn't any other cracking I don't feel that uh, I should be skeptical about the vendor covering things up um, lastly though just to throw an extra little bit of spice into the mix we are in the Somerset coal field and uh, just behind my left shoulder, I'll show you. Just behind my left shoulder is that. Let's go and zoom in a little bit. That's going out, going in. It's uh, a slag heap. Uh, it's called the Batch locally. So um, we're pretty close to some mining activity. Over and out. This is a little crack that might be subsidence and uh, I've coloured it in in red uh, just in case it's not obvious where it is. Okay. This is the back wall of a 1960s bungalow, reconstituted stone, and uh, there's a, a crack uh, 
and our subsidence typically you're looking for a crack which starts at a free edge this crack is starting at the top of the wall which I suppose is a free edge um, it's wider at the top petering out to nothing but it is it's about one and a half millimeters and as we go down the wall we lose it altogether so uh, is it worth making a fuss about well you've obviously got to report it um, and if you go including the word subsidence or subsidence if you prefer in your reports you're going to scare people off so I think it's quite good to craft your reports in such a way as to describe the movement without mentioning the word subsidence and it is uh, 2023 so uh, we are six months after the hottest summer in the history of the world um, so that would have dried the ground out and uh, lots of trees around so uh, it could be a little bit of a, a non-repeating subsidence problem but uh, let's go and see if there's any cracking inside as well this is the inside of that same wall and there is no cracking I mean it's been redecorated relatively recently um, so there might have been cracking but the theory is that as the internal and external skins of the cavity wall are both on the same foundation if the foundations moved both of them will crack um, and if the cracking is only on the exterior or the interior it's probably something else um, thermal movement shrinkage um, but I reckon I reckon it's the foundations that have moved a tiny little bit uh, once upon a time and it's been repaired but uh, usual problem I'm here one day in February and uh, who knows what happened when I've had to turn the sound off because uh, I was mostly recording the wind but uh, this is a pair of Victorian stone cottages in Somerset. They're rather dilapidated. Um, I'm going around the side of the house because uh, there's some structural movement uh, here, possibly or probably. At the bottom of the wall, not much cracking. And at the top of the wall, it's significantly wider. It goes right up the middle of the wall. And uh, you can see that it sort of forms a double crack uh, part way down the wall and the crack narrows ever so slightly towards the bottom of the wall it's obviously got some force to it because it's actually broken some of those stones in two and there we go down to the bottom where there's virtually no crack at all um so the question is is that some form of subsidence uh, or is it thermal or is it just a period of dilapidation which has loosened the stone. I've drawn a little picture here where um, I've highlighted the cracking uh, with some indication of where it's uh, widest and I have drawn a couple of little arrows suggesting they might have tipped from the cracking to the rear of the property or to the right of the property, uh, front of the property or both or alternatively I'm just barking up the wrong tree altogether. This is a brick arch in the front elevation and you can see it's loosened a bit and the uh, masonry above it has loosened a bit and the mortar joints aren't very good. And if we go inside the building, where is it? There it is. We can see that we've got uh, two timber lintels. Um, so we've got three structures holding up the mass of the external wall, a brick arch in the outside skin and two lintels uh, forming the interior or supporting the interior of the property and if we go in nice and close we can see that they have rotted so what's happening I think is that the as the timber lintels rot their capacity to support the masonry around them uh, is lessened so the masonry is shifting around basically so we're uh, getting further loosening of the uh, internal and external walls that'll be ongoing so uh, I suppose once it's happened it's happened provided the lintels don't rot any further and this is a crack in that internal elevation of that uh, side wall with all the cracking um, which 
kind of hint that it might be foundation movement. And that's all I've got to say about this property. Thank you.